Hello everyone and welcome back to my JAXA Advanced RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are going to try to send a Kerbal to orbit, perhaps, and also send some probes to the moon. Uh, we have many contracts, actually. Uh, we have Lunar Impactor, Lunar Orbiter available, and we have Crude Orbit. But first we have to actually test our pod. We're in the middle of doing sort of Tundra Sati things. We just need the first geostationary satellite. We've got so much time on this one, but then again, we might as well get rid of it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll try the first crude pod, though. We've got money. I don't know if we have a lot of unlock credit. We need this pod. Unassuming though it might look, it's still 447,000 so to unlock. We don't even have a heat shield on this. What happened to that? Oh, it got... Oh no, why is the node inside though? I'm definitely gonna make it slightly oversized. Uh, let me just uh, go ahead and add the ablator to the pod so it matches the advanced command pod more exactly. I didn't want to do that, but maybe it's a better thing. I don't want to have the same problem that we have with the Mark 1-3 command pod. I'll do anything to avoid that problem again. Has the ablator. It should really match the specs of that. Yeah, it should be exactly the same now. It still has different costs for some reason. Mass is the same, that's super important. Oh, I guess we'll have the fairings be a little bit better. Yeah. 15,000, 16,000 to tool them. Okay, now it'll tell me what we're unlocking. Docking port propellant only, launch escape system, Vegas command pod, external fuel cell. Okay. So anyway, we need to save up for that. So in the meantime, we'll do the lunar missions. So, impactor and orbiter. Now, on the things that we needed for our crewed launch, it didn't seem like the launcher was part of it, so we can use that launcher for these missions, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, well, this is the Hydrolox AJ-10. For the crude launch, they're only providing that much. But for the moon, they'll probably be more useful. Okay, well, we want this to have more science and such. I don't think we've sent a mass spectrometer. I forget. Oh, there's a two for that. Okay, fine. And we'll do infrared radiometer too. That should be enough to go to the moon and capture around the moon. We need to adjust the stuff a little bit. Maybe we need more power. Let's see. You gonna transmit things nice and quickly? Oh, that's not too bad actually. Let's spend more on the solar panels. Let's get the ranger solar panels. Okay, we need to keep it under one ton here. But that's plenty of solar power -y. Okay, this will be Usagi 2, and this is going to be an orbiter, not impactor. And we should probably pick up that contract. We can't pick up the impactor at the same time. I don't know, uh, will we be able to pick up the impactor if we do this orbiter one? Hopefully. It says accepted, not completed, so... Oh, we've got Earth Space High Mass Spectrometry there. How's research coming along? Early landing, huh? We should queue something else up. Well, we're, we're supposed to be working up the Hydrolox ladder so that we can eventually get the HM7, which is there. Oh, sorry, not HM7, that's European. LE5, which is there. It's gonna be a long time. We've got this AJ-10 Hydrolox engine, though. Life support modules. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and... What heading are we actually going to? Well, we'll be going straight out, that's fine. 
It's the best we can do. Okay. Ignition. And launch. To the moon! Well, we are past Mach 3. Everything looking good. I think I might have gone up too much, actually. Booster set. And fairing set. I feel like maybe we need to coast here. Okay, ignition. Might be a little bit late. We're not close to descending or descending node, so we can't do anything about that. Okay. Not in sync with the music, but oh well. A minor mid-course adjustment will handle that, and I think we wanted polar anyway, so that'll be good. Okay, ignition, and they both lit. Our AJ-10 Hydrolox additions seem to be going well. Okay, those work fine. Next, just a single one of these 3.6 kilonewton thrusters. Well, that's, that's pretty much what we were looking for. Okay. Comms might be a little bit tricky. We'll keep it high on this side so we can capture. We've got lots of Delta V. And then low on the opposite side. Okay, definitely recharging quite a lot. We, we are all done with these here though. Huh? Stopped. But it seems like I can't start them. I mean, like, it should just be waiting, right? Hmm. That's peculiar. You aren't gonna betray me, are you? Kerbalism science system? Well, it's still transmitting some stuff, so I guess that's okay. Data empty. Let's see what happens when we enter here. Something ought to run. Oh, they don't want to run. Moon space high. Collected zero. Value 4.1. Start. I don't understand. Retrieve never. Why does it say stop then? This one has been collected. So we're getting signs from something, but it could be some other probe too. But I think visible imaging too is definitely this one. Apple Apsis actually has to be below 500k. Let's let's make sure we get that initially. Seems like it's stuck with like the science around the earth kind of thing. Clicking this button actually starts and stops it. But it's just permanently in the stopped position. Now this install is not as updated as the European Space Agency install, so maybe I just need to install something, uh, install an update or something. Okay. Retrograde. We don't even need the, fi the, the, the fuel up here. This will be more than enough to capture. Well, it's too bad we couldn't pick up the Lunar Impactor contract at the same time, because we can turn this part into a lunar impactor pretty easily but it wouldn't be fast enough though because we're capturing first i don't think we have enough to land it but we'll see anyway we're pretty well set for a lander in the future that's for sure okay separation whoa Okay, that got us a negative peri- that was one of those forceful separatrons. Didn't realize we still had some of those. 
Okay, it's checking the orbit. This is still messed up. That one's waiting. Okay, well, this is complete. Uh, we'll have a point at the sun. Okay, I just want to make sure this actually gets disposed of. Where are you? I uh, got kicked to a higher orbit for sure. Uh, I think we can bring that down. I'm sure the impactor contract has launched a new vessel. L let's see. So let's double check that. At this point, we should be able to pick it up. But yeah, it, it need to be going much faster to fulfill that. Doesn't matter. We need to do a separate impactor. So let's make a cheaper one. Um, let's see, well, can you get that stage? Yeah, you're not that expensive, even with two of them. AJ-10 Hydrolox Edition stage. Centaur under pressure. <laughs> For some reason. Okay. We don't need anything too special. I think this was already configured as a crash into the moon sort of deal. Say Usagi 3. How does that compare to Usagi 1? 12,328. That's not good enough for me to care about doing the GSE again. So. We're actually going to call this Usagi 3, right? That's That was what it was? Yep. I guess we'll run with it. Definitely getting Moon Science. Okay, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. Okay, separation. Alright, separation and ignition. And fairings. Okay, next. Well, we're still going to need to do an inclination correction, but those are not too bad at Mikorsk. So, we will take this. That seems like it'll be properly direct. Okay, that's what we will take. But we'll have to adjust the mid-course correction. Okay, ignition. Going to the moon now. We still haven't accumulated enough funds for our unlocks. We will have to do some waiting. Okay, staging. Insufficient- oh, it's probably locked still. Activate. Okay. Okay, okay. That feels pretty decisive. I think we won't be able to see the moon very well. Oh, no, there it is. Still pretty dark. Not the most visible impact. Well, uh, no. <laughs> Sunset. Okay, it is satisfied with the impact. We are done with all that. Back to Space Center. 90 for Hydrolox, 95 for this Hydrolox. Whatever, we'll take it. We'll take them. We'll get there somehow. Someday we won't be tied to these AJ-10, pressure-fed AJ-10 Hydrolox engines, but for now. So we are done with this. 
It's not paying us a huge amount, but we'll let it hang out. We need 615 to do the unlocks. Okay, well. How far into it are we? Ah, not that. Um, how many slots does it give us? Two? I guess geostationary comm network would be able to pay better. Not by a lot, but we have to get the first geostationary sat first. I'll finish this at this point. Uncrewed lunar surface exploration. I think we should just pick that up and go fast. Let's see about those unlocks. Okay, we've got unlock cred. We we should be able to cannot integrate vessel. Well, not on this pad you can't. Okay, everything seems fine. I think we can actually build one. But will our people be trained for it? Okay, we're unlocking all the things, including the Vegas command pod. Um, okay. We should tool the fairing. That's much cheaper. Let's uh, get rid of... Uh, I think if we leave the one that we're currently building, it will take more to roll it out, so we'll scrap that. And get back the value, and we will build... Ah, uh, no. We'll build one. Okay. All good. We still have some money left, too. What about training and Kerbals and this sort of thing? Okay. Do we have any? We don't have any Kerbals yet. We're getting our first victims. Tyler Gonzalez. Well, that, that'd be fair. Brian Wilson. Well... Oh, these are... I thought we would have the... No, we sort of have some diversity here, but not a lot. Oh, well, let me check what, what, what set we have. We don't have the JAXA one! So, uh, just for uh, reference, maybe. This is actually the KerbalRenamer.config. And it's very interesting. They've got lots and lots of names and all. They, they of course, have separate first names and last names for all sorts of peoples, like Denmark. And, I mean, that's just for Denmark here. And then Norway is separate. So, and then what happens is at the bottom, you can specify a profile. And the default profile for um, RP1 is just this 1951 one, which gives a weight of 4 to US, 4 to Germany, 4 to Great Britain, 2 to France, and 3 to Russia. Not too sure why that split. Um... Because, like, at 1951, it wasn't quite that split. I mean, that's not going to be how it all works out. There's not that many... It's not the case that there were an equivalent number of German astronauts as there were American astronauts. Or British astronauts versus American astronauts. Mind you, there are plenty of German names in the U.S. already. And so forth. So... And they're neglecting, like, China. Of course, there's... In real life, there have been a lot of Chinese astronauts. Uh, no, it doesn't have it. Um, hmm. Maybe it's because we already started the save? Hold on. Let me go out and try and go to the main menu and start a new one and see. Would you see that one? No. Okay, well, there's something weird. Kerbal. Well, there's the roster. Let me just get rid of these. <laughs> you're gonna have to get some... Tyler Gonzalez will keep. The rest you're gonna have to fill with some other peoples. I should probably back it up before doing this, huh? Profile, true. Okay, why don't you have profile JAXA anyway? Is that gonna be a problem if I type this in? Uh, we'll set it as false first. We'll see. Okay, I've made changes to the persistent file that may cause problems. So let's find out. Okay, we got Japanese. Yay! Okay. 
we're going with the low stupidity idea. <laughs> uh, so, Tanaka, Tomoya, they, they've got them in, you know, like, American order. Tanaka is a scientist, Ikeda is an engineer, oh no, who's our... Shimizu seems to be our least stupid pilot. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, let's see if training two at the same time helps the speed. One is 650, two is 650. Whoever said that training more than one at a time helps something was wrong. Okay. So, they're gonna take forever to train. And, uh, I haven't actually changed the profile. It's just the custom profile that filled it up with the Japanese. Because I, I changed the ratio on the custom profile to have... 200, uh, to show you what I mean. I just used a custom profile and instead of having one here for Japan, I put 200. So it has all the other possibilities, just an overweight on Japan, that's all. But it's possible that putting the JAXA profile in the persistent file might have also worked. But okay, they're not gonna be done soon, but then the Vegas launch is also not gonna be done soon, but that's because we don't have much staff there. Ivito uh, uh, increase the speed of crew training, but clearly not enough. Spike will increase the speed of crew training even more. Uh, there's no real benefit as far as that's concerned. I, and we, we do want to test launch it uncrewed anyway, so... The first one is... the first two are gonna be uncrewed. And that's just demanded by the contracts. So, okay, let's uh, build two more. And let's do those uncrewed tests. While our Kerbals are taking 650 days to train. 